is going to change everything. How we run our ads, how we brand ourselves, how we eliminate time repetitive tasks so we can do what's important and talk to clients and make more money and close more deals. FUBCON, it's amazing. Best event in real estate, right? Give, give FUBCON and all the organizers a huge round of applause. So it's kind of crazy, I was thinking about today, and you know, there's never been this you know, more important time to talk about resilience, obsess about resilience, and staying in full contact with your leads, and being efficient with your spend, and all this kind of stuff. And that's normally the prez I give. How many people here, raise your hand if you've ever seen me speak? Raise your hand. Okay, so that's kind of normally what I do, that passion and whole thing. But today, for the first time, I'm doing something totally different. I am talking about AI. And I'm a little nervous today, actually. And I've spoken a thousand times. I'm a little bit nervous today for two reasons. One is, it's a whole new topic. And we're going to be showing something to a huge audience for the first time. Secondly, my son is in the audience and he's never seen me speak. <laughs> so <laughs> I got a little pressure and I want to make him proud of his dad. All right. So my partner said to me once, we're talking, he's like, the future's coming. Man, it's going to arrive faster than you think. And I was just like, dude, that's like the opening of my press, because that's it. This is coming so fast. We've been talking about AI for a long time. But what you have to understand is we always think linearly. Human beings think linearly. But this stuff is not going to progress in the next few years linearly. It's going to progress what? Geometrically, exponentially, right? Okay. This stuff is going to change how you do business every single day. And I'm here to kind of give you the glimpse and show you how that's going to, how it's going to work. So, is this a bad thing or is this a good thing? Well, how does less repetitive data entry sound? How does less time-consuming busy work sound? How does less countless appointment setting sound? Less human-powered transaction coordination filled with errors? Less time spent trying to figure out digital marketing and promotion? How does that sound? Sounds pretty good, right? So leveraging the power of AI is the future of everything we are going to do. What I want to focus in today is what is our wheelhouse at Wailopo, which is how it's going to impact real estate digital marketing. So I always say to my clients, we are in a partnership. This is a partnership. We work together. You don't have time. I know how busy my agents and my team leaders are. You're out of time. You're flat out of time. Do you have time to go and vet all of these technology companies? I'm watching this. There's literally 100 new companies coming out of Y Combinator like every day. Are you going to say, who's great? Who sucks? Who's OK? No, that's our job. Our job is to do this for you and to build upon all of this underlying plumbing that's happening right now to then marry it with the particularities of real estate, and you guys just receive it. That's it. That's the partnership. That's our job. That's our responsibility. It's going to affect lead generation, lead nurture, lead communication in the most profound ways. Ultimately, what AI is enabling us to do right now is to stop thinking about generating more leads. It allows us to think about generating more appointments. Raise your hand if you want more leads. Raise your hand if you want more appointments. It's different, right? With AI, all the way from the very start of the funnel, from the first time a consumer, a buyer, or a seller sees an ad, okay, we can see who now through automated AI follow-up turns into an appointment in the first 30 days. Guess what we do with that intelligence? What does machine learning actually mean? We're learning. We're constantly learning. We have created at Wailopo an infinite loop of learning that keeps feeding back, learning who is going to turn into an appointment, not just a lead. So we've been hard at work for this. We're using AI for over three years. We're way ahead of everybody. We've already sent 68 million RIA, which is real estate AI is your assistant, text messages. We've engaged 7 million of these folks into conversations. 70% of all of our clients use Raya. 37% of Raya touch leads turn into a need for follow-up stage. Let's go. The cool thing is less than 1%, less than 4 tenths of 1% of these leads actually ask, am I talking to a bot? That's really cool. 
So we have this huge experience, but we're never going to stop improving it. That's the thing. You can't stop. Say, oh, it's done. Raya's done. We're done. Let's go. No. Raya has to always get better. Chat GPT 2, 3, 4. The founder of OpenAI just said there's going to go 6, 7, 8, 9. He's never going to stop, which means we're never going to stop. We're already using Chat GPT 4. Most of the folks you're talking to are stuck with old technology using Chat GPT 2. So let's do a quick review. And let's look at how Raya has now progressed using ChatGPT4. Hey, Jennifer, this is Raya, Barry Jenkins team assistant with Better Homes and Gardens and AGR. We'd like to send you a few more listings you missed from your Google search. Is the email we have for you at gmail.com still a good place to send them? Also, if you're not interested in being texted, just say stop. Jennifer. How's the house search been lately? So she didn't hear back this from the lead. This is Raya, Barry she Jenkins, again. team assistant with this Better Homes real text and Gardens message. and AGR. This is a real conversation. Raya, thanks for checking in. I'm actually in the process of getting a divorce and need to sell my house ASAP and find a new one. Also, just so you know, I have a disability. I'm so sorry to hear that you're going through a difficult time with your divorce and the added stress of needing to sell your house and finding a new one quickly. It must be a lot to manage. What are you looking for in a new home? Any specific requirements due to your disability? Yeah, I need it to be a one story and preferably. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that there, it keeps going. But what's important about this conversation? First off, we didn't make this up. That's a real text conversation, right? And we're getting millions of these, right? So you wake up, you're having your coffee, you're like, oh my God, <laughs> right? Like Raya, I'm just having my coffee. Right? Raya is having a flat out conversation with someone who needs to buy tomorrow because they just got a divorce. Raya now, so like in the first stage of Raya, what would happen if someone said they were getting a divorce or their mom had just died? Like we got that stuff all the time. We didn't know what to do and Raya didn't know what to do. Stage two, we trained Raya to be empathetic. So Raya might say, Mm, sorry to hear that, right? But then it was always saying sorry to hear that. Like, I can't find my dog, sorry to hear that. My mom just passed, I'm sorry to hear that. I just got divorced, sorry to hear that. Same stuff, but at least we're being empathetic, right? Now where are we at? Wow, really sorry to hear about the divorce, the disability. How does that affect your home search, right? And now a conversation about that. That's AI. I mean, my folks in country XYZ, and I'm not going to bury any country today, they're not doing that. They're not trained properly to do that. That's where this stuff is going. That's where we're taking texting AI. It's not stopped. The coolest thing is that follow-up boss is the best CRM in the real estate space, full stop. Why? A lot of reasons, okay? They keep innovating, but why? Most importantly, they're complete open API and integration platform. They are Switzerland. You go all of a sudden find a great new technology, a new platform, great, we'll integrate with y'all. We have never, ever had a partner like Follow Up Boss where we can work so closely with them. Look at this. Have you seen this? You can see your Raya stuff in Follow Up Boss now. Then you're going to be able to see it in your app, right? You're going to be able to turn off the Raya conversations once you've been talking to someone. You can't do that with CRM XYZ. Can't do it. Right? That's how amazing follow-up boss is. So AI texting, very powerful. But we have found statistically, because we're measuring everything quantitatively, right? You know me, measure everything and everyone, right? So what we found was while 25% of all engaged riot conversations result in appointment-ready signal from the consumer, 50% of all voice conversations lead to an appointment. Right? It's crazy. You're calling, 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 not picking up, not picking up, not picking up. But when they pick up and there's a conversation, 50% right now are turning into an appointment. That is blow my mind statistic. So therefore, we can't run away from AI voice. So as an industry, we've never made enough calls and we've never answered our calls. Now, I understand. I got, believe me, I live with a real estate agent. Right? And you're, you know, you're all getting 10 calls from annoying companies like mine, right? <laughs> you know, you don't want to answer your phone. You don't know who that is. But what about the future? And we're going to talk on this. If you can answer the calls, that's a $1 million listing or a $2 million listing and not answer the calls of another tech company that's calling you, right? So enter the world of AI voice. And you guys are some of the first agents on the planet to hear and hear real conversations. Okay, we are going to be first with this in this industry. 
and you can be first to use it in this industry because you guys made the effort, spent the money to come to FUBCON. Let's play a real, actual, we're in the wild right now, we're in the wild, we're doing this with real buyers and sellers. These are real calls, and you know what? I chose two calls. They were both the most like cringe-worthy calls, and I'm like, oh, those are the ones I wanna show for a reason. Hello? Hey, Auntie Annette. Yes, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, thanks for asking. How about you? I'm doing good. That's awesome to hear. So, Antoinette, I was going through our database and I wanted to check if you're still considering moving in the next 6 to 12 months. Um, doing what in the next 6 to 12 months? Oh, sorry if I wasn't clear. I meant to ask if you're still considering moving to a new home within the next 6 to 12 months. Are you still yeah. in the market for a new place? I am. That's great to hear, Auntie Annette. It's an exciting time to explore new homes. Can you tell um, me a bit about what you're looking for in a home? Any specific um, features or preferences? Sure. Also, it's Antoinette. Apologies for the misspelling, Antoinette. Thanks. For okay, that. so do you guys get that? AI, AI voice, is mangling her name. When I first listened to this call, I was like, why is she calling her Auntie Annette? <laughs> like, hello, Uncle Dave. <laughs> hey, Auntie Annette. I'm like, what? I had no clue what was going on. And in the middle of the call, like, it's a real call. And it's like, she's like, well, you know, by the way, my name is Antoinette, <laughs> right? <laughs> and AI was like, oh, like, sorry about that. And they go on. Why did I choose this call? Because this call ends up in an appointment. Literally ends up in an appointment even after mangling this poor consumer's name, right? She wanted to talk to a real estate agent, and she did. Right away, live connection. AI voice is setting up live connections. When you get that call from AI voice, you know you've got a live buyer or seller on the line. Let's hear, I, the next one is a little bit longer, but it's crazy. Hello. Hey, Anne. Hi. Um, Joan? Hey there. This is Sarah yeah. from Barry Jenkins Real Estate Group. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm okay. How about you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So I noticed that you opted into one of our ads about looking for homes for sale recently. Can I talk to you about that? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Sick today. Sick. Well, as Barry's assistant, I'd like to find... She's sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better. Sorry soon. to hear that. In Thank the you. meantime, do you mind if I ask you... A no problem at all. Just to clarify, oh. are you currently looking for a home in a specific area? Okay, hold on and let me let you talk to my husband here. <laughs> Brush off to the husband. Sure, take your time. <laughs> Husband's like, get off the call. No. Get off the call. No, I think we're all set, Sam. Thank you. I totally get it. Before we wrap up, do you have a time frame in mind for when you'll want to purchase? We have to sell first. Yeah, baby. Ah, uh, I see. It's common to sell before buying. Once you've sold your current home, do you have an idea of when you'll be ready to start looking for a new one? It has to be before I even sell this. I understand sometimes it's important to have a new home lined up before selling the current one. In that case, Correct. do you have a specific time frame in mind for when you'd like to start looking for a new home? As soon as I can sell this one, I don't know. I, things are not moving, so the house is not Things selling. are not moving. I'm not sure what town she's in. So right now, so, you know, it's, it's I'm based. I don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> All depends. Right now, it's hard because, you know, you don't know, you know? <laughs> you don't know, you know, you know. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. It can yeah. be challenging when there are uncertainties involved. Right. Right. So, like I said, our okay, it's engineers... understandable that you're. Yeah, it's like you said. Sometimes things can be a bit unpredictable. But hey, I wanted mm -hmm. to let you know that Barry may be available right now. Barry Jenkins is available. Can I see if he can call you back in a few minutes, or what would be a good time for you to talk to Barry? Um, let's say tomorrow. Like I said, I'm sick today. I don't. And you're lucky I even answered the phone. <laughs> I thought you were the doctor. <laughs>
All right, I love that. I love that call. I can't, like, listen to that call enough. Call me a nerd. Call me a geek. But what is the biggest takeaway from that call? What's the biggest takeaway from that call? AI voice is programmed to never get off the phone. I, as a human being, would have let the poor, sick woman get off the phone. <laughs> There's no way I'm like, I hear you, I know you're sick, you thought I was your doctor, but let's talk about the home that you might be selling. <laughs> so, I've, so I use this as an example because G and I have listened, and Barry and Gabe, we have listened to hundreds of, not thousands of calls. And every single time, it, I realize, I get this epiphany. It is not programmed to ever hang up, no matter what. We have a guy, I got this conversation, I just don't have the time today to show it to you. And he's, he's trying to tell AI voice why he can't get qualified. AI cut him off, right? Later on, he wants to tell the story again about why he can't get qualified but should get qualified. AI cuts him off again. I'm like, I'm cringing, like, oh my God, this guy's gonna hang up, right? He gets the appointment. <laughs> AI gets the appointment. Now, why am I making this point? Because, and you should write this down, like, we are in the, the baseball people, first batter of the first inning. Everything is gonna get so much better. And those calls, these people do not know they're on with AI. The lag is a little too long, the voice isn't perfect, it's a little bit AI, -y, right? We don't, we, we, we cut off someone who's trying to tell you a story. You guys know, someone's trying to tell you a story, you're all ears. You're empathetic. You want to hear the story and you want to help them. Well, guess what? First batter of the first inning. Do you know where we're going to be in three weeks? Three weeks? This is not a linear progression taking years. This is exponential, okay? So it is what we call, in the prior slide, omni-channel, okay? And that's going to separate, to be sexist, the men from the boys, <laughs> or for the adults from the children to not be sexist. It's got to be omni-channel. One hand's got to know what the other hand's doing. You've got to have this infinite loop of learning. From the first time a consumer gets on the website searching for homes, you're gathering information. You know everything they do, every click they make, every home they look at, the price range, the town. You know when they share a home. You know when they raise their hand they want more info. You know everything, right? Now you're sending the right dynamic email listing alerts. You're sending the right home to the right person at the right time. Now you're texting them. Right? You're texting them knowing what they actually did, not some other generic AI company that has no idea what they did because they're not tied into the 24-7, you know, sorry, 457 IDX data feeds that we're sitting on, 24-7 IDX data changing, and 24-7 consumer behavior changing. One day they're looking in the suburbs, the next day they're looking downtown. That's got to change like that. It's got to change your email, it's got to change your text, it's got to change your voice, and no other company's going to be able to do that. you got to be omni-channel. It's all got to work together. So, consumer opens up a listing alert, right, from email, right? They favor the listing on your website. AI texts the consumer, do you want to see the property? Consumer says yes. AI voice calls the consumer to set the appointment for you, right? They set the appointment for you. Then the AI voice immediately gets what you want, the live transfer right away, getting that consumer on the phone, right? AI is also going to be programmed, it is programmed, to always ask 100% of the time, do you have a home to sell? Do you think you might be selling before you buy? We will test 100 different ways to ask that same question to get the stats from a 37.6% response to a 39.2 response. That's how technical we're going to get. Because you guys want listings and we're going to get you them. And we know for a fact that we can get one out of every five of these initial buyers to basically say, yep, I want to talk to you about listing my home. Because I know that 48% of these buyers do actually have a home to sell. And I can get 20% of them, 20 of them to admit it to you. So what we're building, and I'm announcing it here today, is what we call AI squared. AI squared, why is it squared? Because it's exponential. When AI texting is talking to AI voice, which is talking to the email, which is talking to the website interactions, it is an exponential lift for you guys. 
because it would kind of suck, right, if you actually had AI voice reach out to a consumer, they have a live transfer to you, you're talking to them, you have this great conversation, right, and then Raya texts them the next day like, they, like you never met them. Does that make any sense at all? You cannot have an AI texting company and then have a different AI voice company. You can't do it. You must have AI squared. This is how profoundly we are thinking about this stuff. AI squared is going to save you time, Am amazing amounts of time. Everything we talked about in that whole journey, you didn't do anything. You're having coffee. You're having coffee, right? You don't want what you have now. On the left, you hire, you recruit for an ISA. You hire an ISA, you train the ISA. That ISA is good for four months, and then they leave your ass, or they get sick, or they go on vacation, or they have a bad attitude, or they get burnt out. Now what are you doing? Are you gonna go recruit, hire, train, <laughs> hope you keep another ISA for a really eventually thankless job, okay? Or you've got this big call center in, in, in some foreign country with a really heavy accent, that your consumers don't want to talk to, right? Where are we going with this? The most humanistic AI voice possible, to the point where if you are a realtor in Texas, we're going to have a little Texas draw. You are a realtor in Boston, you're going to be talking to someone with a little bit of a Boston accent. That's how technical we're going to get. We are, will be the most humanistic AI voice in the business. So here's the other thing. You want to spend a few thousand dollars a month? I ask people all the time, how much you spend on ISA, right? 4,000 a month, 5,000 a month, 6,000. What are you spending on your call center, right? Do you want to spend thousands on something that's not reliable or hundreds? Literally, we're talking about saving you 90% of your dollars. And it's going to be better. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Punchline. Anthony John, Detroit, Michigan. Okay. So it not only creates massive engagement and sales opportunities, but it also makes the organization of your data painless. How many people are like, oh shoot, I gotta update my fields and my tags and my statuses, right? What happens if AI can do this for you? What happens? So we all think about like fields. We've got fields in our CRM. We gotta update this field, that field, that field. But there's also a whole world of what we call, that's structured data. When it's in fields, it's structured data. What about unstructured data? Emails, calls, texts, notes. What about a call that we can instantly pull in, transcribe the whole call, and populate the fields for you? Bam. I, I like the bams. Give me another book. It's a boom. Okay? So you got a call. We, AI pulls it all out, transcribes it, populates in follow-up boss, and now instantly when you go on, you can see instantly the lead background. Where's this person coming from? What's the actual hard data? What are they looking for? What is their current status? When's the last time AI or you talk to them? You got thousands of leads, right? You need this shit summarized for you like that, and AI is going to do it. What's the punchline, Anthony Dijon? How, how do I sign up? <laughs> stop, stop. The punchline, the punchline, the punchline is imagine when you can spend your day talking to and meeting with prospects and clients rather than having to email, text, and call leads all day, and even worse, spending your valuable time inputting and updating statuses, stages, tags, et cetera. All this information is going to be extracted. It's all going to be put back. And you can spend your most valuable asset and your most valuable commodity in the world. What's the one thing that we're going to run out of? Now, how much money we no matter how much money we have, we're all going to run out of time. That is your most precious asset, and you must guard it with your life. And if this is giving you time, this is pure gold. So you're going to be able to use your follow-up boss data. Because look, look, the bottom line is bad data input, bad data in, bad data out. Right? But now all your follow-up boss data is going to be pristine. It's going to be the trusted source of truth. And last year I was on stage talking about Maverick. We're here. Maverick's here. We've launched Maverick. We've got people rolling on Maverick. Maverick stands for measurement, accountability, visibility. Measure everything and everyone in your organization. Make it visible to everyone in your organization, thereby holding everybody accountable. Well, what we're going to do is we are going to use all of our AI skills in Maverick. So what we can do is actually pull in the calls from Follow-Up Boss into Maverick, 
and we can use AI to instantly grade every salesperson's calls. So remember, AI voice, AI text sets up live calls. Now you have live calls. The calls are recorded in Follow-Up Boss. We pull the Follow-Up Boss calls into Maverick, and we instantly say, how are you doing on asking questions? How are you doing on the hello? How are you doing on the close? How are you doing about asking about whatever you want? You define these rules. And that input goes back to the sales manager and goes back to the agents so they can get better instantly. You guys are getting it, where we're going? AI will touch everything. It will touch everything you do to save you time and money. We actually can create a rules engine, right? You might say to your team, right, these are the most important down funnel leads I have. These are the most important interactions I have. I want to monitor that. I want to create a rules engine. I want to see instantly, is everyone on top of these things? I might be clearing 100% of some certain down funnel opportunities, I might only be at 20% on other down funnel opportunities. AI spits it out, shows you that, then what does it do? It will automatically send a nudge to the agent. You've got 27 down funnel opportunities that you need to go at right now. Give them whatever, an hour to do that, they don't do that, then you use the lead distribution routing system, get it to someone who will do that, right? So it is going next level. Um, if you want to get a free Maverick uh, assessment, you can shoot this QR code, you can go to the Maverick booth, you can shoot that QR code, it's totally free, and we'll basically just give you a free assessment of what's going on with your team. Where do you stack up? We're really eventually creating here a Maverick grading system so you can see where does my team stack up on lead follow-up in the whole universe? Where am I? Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. Am I in the top decile? Am I in the lowest decile? Don't put your head in the sand, you need to know. So AI advancements will be 100% designed to save you time which is your most valuable asset. Your 24-7 AI voice assistant. I got a text. Tom Ferry was on stage. Tom's a friend of mine. Tom was on stage, and they're like, dude, he's using one of your videos. <laughs> and it was, this was the Google video. Whoever here saw Tom, you remember this one? The appointment. Good happening out here. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. So I give me one second. You guys all heard this? Mm -hmm. All right. You've been there, done that. So this is where we're going, okay? We're starting with outbound touches, outbound calls, right? Get more appointments for you guys. You don't want leads, you want appointments, right? You know you get that hot transfer, you're like, damn, this is awesome. Then we will use it for your inbounds, right? Why are you getting a call? The AI voice assistant can say, oh, this is a tech company, that call doesn't go to my agent, right? Or maybe they say they want it, whatever, right? Or this is a seller, or this is a whatever. And we're gonna be able to use that assistant for inbound calls. We're gonna be able to use this assistant for transaction coordination. Anything that is repetitive, anything that is time consuming, anything that is prone to errors, you need to think about AI. So I asked Barry Jenkins, one of our senior realtors and residents, alongside Gabe Cordova, and I just got him on the phone. I said, hey, dude, send me a text. Send me, like, just off the top of your head, five things, right? And you guys may want to shoot this, whatever. Five things that you would have AI do for you right now. Like, right now. And it was some, like, really cool stuff when it comes to, like, you know, scheduling and lead nurture and transaction coordination. And not even just scheduling stuff with consumers, but scheduling stuff with his own team. He does not need to do that. He doesn't need to hire someone and pay them full time to do that. AI can do that, saving you time and saving you money. So what I would like everyone to do is ask yourself, what are your top five things? What would you want your 24-7 AI voice personal assistant? Now think about this. You will now forever have a 24, this is where we're going. Okay, this is where we're going to give you a 24-7 assistant. I want one. You guys want one? I mean, absolutely, right? So, but we want to make it particular, not about haircuts. I want to make it particular to real estate, right? What are the top five things that you would want AI voice to solve for you when it comes to time-consuming repetitive tasks? I want you to shoot this QR code. We're giving away $1,000. Okay? First, second, third prize. Shoot this. You'll be able to go to the site, and you'll be able to actually put in what are the top things that you would like your 24-7 AI voice personal assistant to solve for you? Now, why do we do this, okay? We do this because, again, the partnership, the relationship we have with you, our teams, our clients, our agents, is we don't just build stuff in a vacuum. We build stuff based on your feedback. 
Why Lopa was built based upon your impact, input, your feedback. Maverick is being built based upon your input, your feedback. You need to tell me. We're just a bunch of technologists. You need to tell us what is going to save me the most time and the most money. Go build it, and we're going to do it for you. So there will be many other applications of AI that will change consumer behavior and consumer engagement forever. It's happening now. Here's one. Hey, guys, see you later. I'll check in on that. Please send me a list of homes between 1 and 2 million in Palm Springs that have a swimming pool. So we all got our head in the sand if we think people forever are going to go to a website and fill out the town and the price range and the bedrooms and bathrooms and do all that. One thing I've learned and I think about all the time is that we live in a world of immediacy. It's crazy. I'm pretty old, so I remember when stuff wasn't so immediate. But everything is immediate, right? I see, like, my kids and stuff. They're hungry. You think they walk to the fridge? Phone. Uber Eats. What's going to be here in 20 minutes versus 40? Right? Instacart. Instacart. Right? Groceries. I don't have to get my, my butt out of the... Right? It's everything. So we have to think about this with real estate. They are not going to want to go and fill out all this stuff. They're going to pick up their phone. They're going to press a button, and they're going to say, send me all the condominiums in downtown San Diego between 600 and 800,000 that has a rooftop pool. Boom. And that's going to come back. That's how things are going to change. We can't even begin to think about how everything's going to change. Our dynamic video ads, which have been amazing, like still alone in the industry, they're changing. This was an old diva ad or current diva ad. Beautiful, nice music, pulling in data from your IDX listing. It's really cool. Like you can basically put 65 bucks in, shake it up, and make a TV commercial. That's pretty awesome. How about Diva using AI? 207 65th Street in Virginia Beach is an impressive, sprawling North End gem on a large lot with incredible privacy. All living areas and stairs are hardwood, with exception of the tiled sunroom, baths, Notice and laundry the words, in the main home, sinking with the which pictures is made up of perfectly. four bedrooms three and a half bathrooms, and a vaulted ceiling office. Right? So that seems simple, but we haven't done that, right? You know, no one's done that. And if we can use AI and we don't have to do it ourselves, and we can create this commercial for like 60 bucks and have the words and the pictures sync perfectly, this consumer knows what's going on. Video, okay? Last speaker elegantly talking about the power of video, right? So we know, right, like if you can send a video message to a consumer, like that's really meaningful to a consumer. But... Like, what happens if you have 4,000 people in your database? What happens if you have, a, you know, 100,000 people in your database? What happens if you have hundreds of people every single day interacting with home search? Are you every single day, oh, not golfing today, giving up golf entirely because I'm going to spend all day making videos to send to my consumers, right? Or I'm going to pay someone $4,000 a month or $5,000 a month to do that, but then it's their video, it's not my video. Hey, Chris, it's Howard Tager here with the Andrew Franklin team. I'm excited to share with you a new listing that my teammate has coming on the market next week in the Woodlands. Chris, I thought of you because I know Chris that you've already checked Woodlands. out a few other homes on my website in the Woodlands that are also between two to three million dollars with at least three bed, three bath. Show the next one. Hey Steve, it's Howard Tager here with Not the Chris, Andrew Franklin Steve. team. I'm excited to share with you a new listing that my teammate has coming on the market next week in Sugarland. Not Steve, Woodlands, I thought of you Sugarland. because I know that you've already checked out a few other homes on my Isn't website. Isn't it amazing how I got this video exactly three perfect to four million dollars both times? With at least four okay, what happened? Obviously, AI trained my image once. It trained my voice once. I read a script, and it was painful. <laughs> I read the script for like 30 minutes. I did it once. Now I can go golf, and I'm really a bad golfer, but I love golf. But I could go golf, and I have 50,000 people that we upload through a CSV file who are all different, looking at different towns, different price ranges, all different. And I can send a personal video of me, the agent, to them. Hey, Steve. Hey, Chris. Hey, Jim. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Nancy. With what they were looking for. And now they all think like, wow, <laughs> this agent's amazing talking to me personally. This is where we're going with AI video. So AI is going to change everything. It's changing everything. It's going to happen faster than you think. 
how we run our ads, how we brand ourselves, how we communicate with clients and nurture prospects, how we learn about our agents, what they're doing, how do we help our agents, how we eliminate all of these every single day time repetitive tasks from our lives forever. So we can do what's important and talk to prospects and talk to clients and make more money and close more deals. Gene, if you ain't first, you're last. You know, you know I'm talking about that phrase, trademark, not to use the other tradition, Ricky Bobby. So, how many people have not seen this movie? <laughs> okay. So there's a scene where he's talking to his dad. He's like, he's like, you said if you ain't first, you're last. And the dad's like, I was drunk. And what does that even mean? Like, if you're not first, yeah, you could be second or third or fourth. And like, it's kind of disheartening. Well, I actually believe in Ricky Bobby, not his dad. I believe in AI, and I think about this every day, if you're not first, you're last. We are going to release AI voice to y'all in three weeks. You cannot name another company. So they're all last in my opinion. We are doing it now. We're getting live conversations. We're training it. We're testing it. We're getting better. We are set. We, no one's sleeping in our company. Because if you ain't first, you're last. And if you ain't best, you're last. Best means AI squared, something that no one else is thinking about, right? You can't just have AI text. You can't just have AI voice. You can't just have, it's all got to work together. You need to sit upon, like AI is cool, but generic AI sucks. AI is only good if you have domain expertise, which you all do in real estate, and it sits on data, dynamic data. We're sitting on a pile of IDX and consumer data that no one else is. We need to build upon that. We need to be able to have mad, multi-million dollar integration technology with the best of the world, like, like Follow Boss, so it's instantly visible to you. Being best has the most humanistic voice with that Texas accent, right, that no one else has. Being first, being the best. That's what we aim to do. The role of the real estate agent will not be displaced by AI, but rather will be enhanced by those agents who choose to harness its powers. Do you want to become a dinosaur, or do you want to save time, save money, and close more deals? AI is happening, and it's the best thing for y'all. Thank you.